Hello everyone and welcome to a mod tutorial, well an installation tutorial for mods that I'm using for Paradise Realms. The reason I'm making this video is because some of the people who have access to World Edit would like to use this mod, which is a selection uh, sh show for the World Edit. To install this we're gonna need a couple of things a couple of uh, other mods to install it first up we need forge and we're gonna install it now for 1.11.2 since it's uh, just got updated so be sure you have uh, forge first I have to click uh, the 1.11.2 and in and download it and then I have to download little loader 11.2 download it too if you want, you can uh, download Optifine as well. Download it from here. I'm also installing a minimap. You can install Voxel Map 11.2 as well. Download it here. And optional mod is the Better HUD. You could install this uh, to have a display of some information of your Minecraft as you play. Now the the thing is, this is only updated for 1.11, it's not for 1.11.2, so we're gonna have to try if this works. And last but not least, our CUI for World Edit, download it right here. I will have all the links in the description so you can get them. Another uh, optional mod is Inventory Tweaks, but sadly it has not been updated for 1.11. Um, I went ahead and I already got all the mods installed uh, download here. First off, um, it depends on what version of the game you have right now. For, uh, as you can see, mine is uh, 1.10. So what I recommend is do a clean installation. Uh, what we're going to do is delete the entire Minecraft. It's totally up to you if you want to do a clean installation or just do a new profile and override files. So we're gonna close Minecraft and open our uh, app data point Minecraft like this. And we're gonna delete everything here. This is the only way to do a clean installation. There we go. Now the next time we open Minecraft, it's going to again ask us for our password because we just deleted it. Once you are on the screen again, the only thing you have to do is click play. And Minecraft will download the 11.2 uh, version of the game. So we just have to wait for it to do it. Once Minecraft uh, finished installing and you see the screen again, uh, the game is already installed. You can see the version right here. You can close it because uh, once the game is installed, now we have to install uh, the mods. I you have to be very careful. You have to install them in a specific order. We have to start with Forge. Install client and just click OK. It will download a couple of libraries and you will see that it uh, successfully installed the client. You click OK and we open Minecraft once again. This time though you have to change your profile and we have to choose the Forge version. Uh, it, will, it will tell you that right here that it will play Minecraft on 1.11 Forge version. Just click play. The loading screen for the Minecraft is going to change if you haven't ever played with mods. Uh, it's going to be a little different because it's going to start loading things. So it's going to be like this from now on. And just have to let it uh, load everything up. Dep depending on your computer is how fast uh, this is going to uh, load every time you run Minecraft. But once Minecraft is open, you're going to see uh, the version and you have uh, Forge installed. Once you have Forge installed, you have to again close the game. And we're going to install Little Loader next. We'll run it. 
Uh, we have to change here, so we, we because we want a little longer to install uh, together with Forge. So be sure you extend from the profile we just installed, and we just click OK. This is really fast. It's, it's already done. Uh, once the um, little loader is open, we again go to our app data uh, slash dot Minecraft. And on the mods folder that uh, Forge installed, we are going to copy the rest of the mods we download. So all, only these four. Copy. And we paste them right here. So that's Optifine, the voxel map, the world edits UI, and the HUD that we're gonna test if it works. If it doesn't, uh, if we get an error, we just have to delete this one and open Minecraft again. So let's run Minecraft. Uh, once again, you have to change your profile and this is the last time you do it. Little loader with Forge. And it will tell you that it will play Minecraft 1.11.2 with Little Loader and Forge. Uh, another thing you can do is to uh, increment the amount of uh, RAM usage you have in your computer. For example, I have 16 gigabytes, so uh, I could put 4 here and just delete the rest of these things and just leave these parameters and the GM uh, Java arguments. Uh, if you have, for example, 4, I would recommend you put 2 instead of the 1 uh, you have uh, by default and just save your profile and you can play again now that we have all these mods installed it's going to take slightly longer to load minecraft because it has to load them uh, on the <laughs> and to load the screen but as you can see since I uh, allocated 4 gigabytes now it uh, this increased from the previous loading screen There we go. Now a couple of things are going to change on your Minecraft. Um, it's going to say that you have Optifine installed. It's going to say you have uh, a couple of mods installed. You can click on this mods button and it will tell you which mods you have installed. Some of these come together with the Forge and they are just part of Forge. But the one we need here is the better HUD. It seems that it's working. Which is uh, great. And you're gonna see a little thing over here if you mouse over it, it's the little loader. Which is gonna tell you that the voxel map and the world edit CUI are installed correctly. So only thing you have to do is uh, go on your multiplayer and add Paradise Realms to your server list. And see Paradise Realms.net. Done. And we are ready to play. Thanks for watching everyone, have a nice day.